Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I have returned to Insurgency. As I'm sure many of you are already aware, I adore this game. I love that brutal, realistic gameplay. I love the tactics that are involved. You really do have to think about combat differently in this title. But one of the things I want to talk about today is how I think developers could le learn a thing or two from the developers of Insurgency New World Interactive. One of the best things about this game is that they are constantly updating it. A few weeks back, they added brand new maps. A, a couple months ago, they added in new weapons. Uh, they added in night combat that completely changes the way that you play this game. The best thing about it is that it's all 100% free. I really wish that more developers would take this type of mentality when they are creating their multiplayer first person shooter, or really just their multiplayer game overall. I realize that it does cost money. I'm not disillusioned to this fact. I realize that this is the real world, and you have to pay your developers money to create these maps and these weapons. But one of the best things about this title is that it keeps the community together and it doesn't fracture it like it does in a lot of other first person shooters. The best example that I can come up with is the Battlefield franchise. In Battlefield for you can put down $15 for the uh, one DLC or 50 for premium and for the first couple of weeks or for about a month you can have a blast on all the new maps it's unique it's new everyone's playing on it or a large majority of the player base is playing on them but then after that people start to go back to the normal maps they just stop playing battlefield overall and then then servers don't run those DLC maps anymore because there just isn't the player count to support, you know, support the servers at all. They want people to be in their server, and so they go back to the vanilla maps. After those first couple of months, you hardly see any of those maps in the rotation anymore, and it's like, why, what did I spend my $50 on? What did I just spend my $15 on if I can't play on this content whatsoever because of this fractured community? You don't have that problem in Insurgency. You have to remember that this is a relatively old game at this point. It's a multiplayer indie first person shooter. Statistically, Insurgency should be dead. We look at all of the other multiplayer games out there made by indie developers, it is an almost impossible to maintain a community. And I think one of the main reasons why they've been able to do this is not only that the, the gameplay is amazing, like mechanically this game is, is top notch, it's just fun to play, but because they have this continuous support, it maintains that community because people know that they're gonna, they're gonna come back every couple of weeks and there's gonna be something new to enjoy and there's gonna be new content. I love the fact that DICE finds finally seems like they're getting the message with this. Uh, right now on the CTE, they're bringing us free content. In the new spring patch, there's going to be the Weapon Crate DLC, which brings five new weapons. Uh, right now, they're working on the community map and the new night maps, which are also going to be free. In my eyes as a consumer, and I'm only speaking for myself, I am way more likely to support that developer and support their future products if they have this type of mentality and development process for their for their future content. If they come out with an Insurgency 2, I'm way more likely to check it out. There may never be an Insurgency 2. This might be their only their, this might be their only project, but if New World Interactive comes out with a new game, I am way more likely to check it out because of this track record. I know that they're going to continuously support it. I know what they've done in the past, and so I'm more likely to actually spend my money on them. Another thing I love about Insurgency is that when they create their maps, they realize that they're not infallible gods and that they've made mistakes and they go in and update them. I went back and played on a map that I really loved and there was one part of it that was always a nightmare when you were on the attacking side and they tweaked it a little bit. They added in a way for you to infiltrate into the house. That wasn't available in the past. This basically made the map way more enjoyable, it fixed a large glaring issue, and it all came down to the simple fact that they realized that, hey, maybe our map design isn't flawless, and they went in and fixed it. This is a problem in a lot of games out there. They release their title, it's great, but then after an extended period of time, once you spend hundreds of hours on it, the community starts to realize, oh, hey, wait, there's a choke point that's causing a lot of issues. There's a lot of rooftop campers that completely destroy the flow of the map and cause a lot of frustration, maybe we should adjust a few things here and there, but they never go in and make the necessary changes or, or try to improve upon it. And so what I just love about Insurgency is that they, they have the mindset that, hey, we're not perfect. Perfect. We're, we're not amazing all the time. We can have some mistakes here and there, and they'll go in and try to tweak the problem. That is, that is amazing in my eyes. 
Uh, but overall, while I realize I turned into a little bit of a fanboy here, I, I truly do believe that other developers could learn something from New World Interactive and the development of Insurgency. I, I know this is the real world, I'm, I'm not disillusioned to the fact that money needs to be involved and it costs money to do this type of stuff, but I just think that the way that they've handled keeping the community together, the way that they've adjusted and updated the game, especially through improving their maps, is, is really top notch. Uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you thought about the topics that I discussed in today's video. Do you agree with me on the fraction of the community? Do you think that I'm being way too much of a fanboy and you think Insurgency sucks? Let me know down below. Uh, but yeah guys, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.